Hey guys, this is Connors and welcome to the British Shooting Show 2022. I'm here with James Armstrong from Practical Targets Company. How are you doing? Yeah, hi Varn and Connor, good to see you again. Yeah. How's the show been for you so far? Well, we've been busy like this the whole time. Yeah. Uh, there is a real interest now in uh, the steel targets. About mm -hmm. three or four years ago, I was making them for my own club. Then other people started asking me, oh, can you make me something like that? So it turned into a business. Yeah. And, um, and, and basically we started off with the six plates on a rack, very similar to this sort of mm -hmm. thing. Chaps uh, resetting it now. And uh, you basically use the bar to reset from a string at that end. And uh, we started with that. Um, everyone saw it, got excited. And since then, there's been all different types of uh, practical for practical mini rifle, uh, for the PSG, do all the sort of standard sort of targets for that. But one thing snowballs into another, and I'm doing stuff for air rifle. And um, also, right now, we're doing the um, Know Your Limit targets here for the PR22. So PR22 is uh, part of the GBPRA. Um, we've got a guy here on the stand sort of promoting that as well, as well as the NTSA. Um, also, I've given a bit of space to them on the stand as well. So, you know, um, we're involved quite a lot with um, these different organizations. So yeah, the answer to your original question is very well, thank you. <laughs> So I know you do all sorts of interesting targets, like um, you've made me a plate rack in the past. Yes. Which was a uh, shotgun training rack with no shoots in front, so I could configure it however I needed to, to do any particular drill or teach a student or something like that. Did you do the targets for Silverstone, the resetting Yeah, so S Silverstone have got six of these racks. Yeah. Um, set up at 100 meter and a 25 meter, that sort of thing. But they also run a mini rifle competition, an NRA style mini rifle competition. And I did 50 of the little, little round red, uh, poppers for that. Yeah. They're literally a 60 inch plate um, with an angle in front. Uh, and uh, he's put them in boxes. You can move them anywhere around the range. Yeah, and you, and made, you made, all, made those all those. I made all those, yeah. So pretty much a, a lot of the stuff at Silverson is come from me. Yeah. And um, basically it's a good collaboration. But I've also worked not only with Silverstone, but a lot of the other ranges as well. And yeah, I mean, we've got North, North Coast Butts playing in the video in the background there. So Yeah, North Coast Butts is there. Um, we've, uh, even the cowboy action shooting yeah. guys have got our targets that they use for their shotgun poppers. So, so. you've got a lot of different um, customers now. And I was speaking to you yesterday about how you're actually expanding the range as well. So you've got the IPSC target style um, Shape yeah. targets now. Yeah, I, I see on your little plate rack there. We've got your little yeah. um, USPSA style targets. Yeah, because y y though it doesn't look like that's half scale of this, yeah. this is literally on the CAD, just a half scale. So um, basically, that's um, for two two and one point seven seven pistol. Yeah. Uh, sorry, air gun yep. pellets but also you can use rimfire on that. But these six inch targets are used for the rimfire a distance, but yeah. also um, mini rifle competitions at our club use these yeah. now to spice it up a bit. So actually that, that sort of um, rack there is something I could see that would actually fit in the boot of your car. Yes. If you wanted to buy one and take it yourself down to your local range and yeah. use it. Or if you have land, you can shoot on that too. I, I like the variety of what you're doing now. I think we were talking yesterday about doing more air gun targets in general. Yeah, and I actually being at the show has been enlightening for me because uh, as a kid I shot air gun, but I got behind the times on it. The, the pre-charge stuff, I never hired one until yeah. yesterday over there at the uh, shooting range that's here at the British Shooting Show. And um, I've been talking to the air gunners and they say, oh, we could do this and that and the other. So look out, there will be a full range of air gun targets yeah. with a difference coming from me. And you're going to let us know when you've got new targets coming yeah, out. That's Send right. us some photos and we'll let you guys yeah. know about that. On the, 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 the interesting thing is, is talking to the air gun guys, you know, I'm a lot of them, I started off business to business and I've been talking to the air gun guys who are running ranges and stuff and they say, you know, we need some stuff that's going to last forever. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to make them. Fantastic. Great. Well, James, thank you very much for your yeah. time today. Thanks for I look dropping forward by. To, uh, to my next order from you. Yeah. Okay, um, great. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more British Shooting Show content. It's been Connors. I hope to see you soon.